Hey developers, today we're going to look at single file components with Vue.js and we're going to show a quick tip on how we can split the CSS, HTML, and script into separate files. So if you are coming from Angular 2 Plus or Ember.js, you've probably seen that you have multiple files for each component. You have your script in one file, you have your style in another, and you have your HTML and in yet another so you could actually split out to three different files and this is really really easy to do inside a single file component inside Vue.js so let's take a look at that by the way if you guys are listening to this and you want to know more about Vue.js I have a free copy of the first chapter of my book Vue.js in action published by Manning you can get it by clicking on the description below there's a link Click on that link and get a free first chapter of my book so you can learn more about Vue.js. And that would be awesome if you could do that. So I have an app here. OK, let me go ahead and run it here. I went ahead and created this with Vue CLI 3.0. And so I already created the folder. I didn't add anything special to it. And let me run it here. And you can see here, here is the default website. Welcome to your Vue.js app. Um, this just comes out of the box. And you can see here on the left-hand side, I have Visual Studio Code open. And it's just the basic view CLI 3.0 scaffolding that comes when you create a new app. So uh, let's go ahead and change this Hello World so it's a little bit cleaner in three different files. Now, before I do this, this is a little bit controversial. Some people would say that if your view component is getting too big, that you should refactor it to smaller components and then maybe nest those components within the larger component. And so that way you can kind of break up the component to smaller pieces. And that makes a lot of sense rather than trying to split it out into different files. So, but it's definitely personal preference. I mean, this is certainly one way of doing it. So I don't think necessarily this is a bad way to do it, but um, some people prefer this, especially if you have a lot of complicated code. So let's take a look. So right now, normally in a view, a single file component, component like you see here, I have this template tag at the top, and then I have this kind of root instance, a root view element, uh, an element that you have to surround everything in. And then we have all the HTML, and then you have a script tag, and this is where you put in all your Vue.js logic, so to speak, and you export default here. And then at the bottom, you have style. And you can put scoped in there. And as you, you can see, attribute, add scoped attribute to limit CSS to this component only. And then this is where you put the styles. So let's change this up. So right below template, I'm going to put in a style tag. And I'm going to put the source. And I'm going to create a file called style.css. And I'm going to close the style. And so this is where we're going to put our CSS. So let's do that first. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to create a new file called style.css. And I'm now, I'm now going to take everything inside my scope CSS here. I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete this since we no longer need it. And you see here we have the style at the top. So if we save it. And refresh it you can see it still looks exactly as it did before so we know we're on the right track we could for example let's change this to I don't know eight seven one well let's just do let's just do orange doesn't matter and you can see now all the links turned orange so that means that it's probably working correctly it looks like it's working correctly so next thing what I'm going to do is take the template and move that to a file. So I'm going to create another style tag, or I'm going to take another tag. It's going to be the template tag. We're going to do source here equals here. And we're going to do template.html. And we're going to close the template. And now we're going to create a new file. And you can see it's already giving us an error, but we'll fix that in a second. We're going to go new file, template.html. And we can call this whatever we wanted to, of course. And then everything inside the template tag, I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to bring it back over here. And I'm going to paste it. I'm going to save it. And you can see it's already back to the way it was. So I can delete this template tag here. 
And now we just have our two style tag here and our template here. And you can see here if I change this to we have a name that says hello world, welcome to your Vue.js app. We could certainly mess around here and other message and we'll say hi, hello. And then we'll go into our template lh2 other message we'll save it and we'll make sure we have it in here other message hi hello no excuse me that's props so let's go to data let's create a data object other message hi hello Make sure you put a comma at the end. And we'll just need to fix this because this is data function. There it is. So hi, hello. So we can see that's definitely uh, working correctly there. So this is just a quick tip on how to change your Vue.js components into multiple files. So since it's style source here, it's scoped for this component. So that should be all you need. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. What do you guys think? Do you think you should take your view components and break them into three files or just leave them as is? Let me know. Thanks. And also, before I go, if you haven't already, and let's say you just like JavaScript or like Vue.js, please click that subscribe button and click that bell button and like the video. That really helps me out. So those three things, if you could do that, I would be much appreciated. And then if you could leave a comment, that'd be even better. So thank you. Take care.